And now, here's your host of Shaping Success, Wes Tankersley. What is up, everyone? Welcome to Shaping Success. I'm your host, Wes Tankersley. Today, we're going to do a little solo episode. Um, this is actually streaming live right now on TikTok. So if you um, want to check that out, you can go to TikTok and you can watch it live and you can see it happen before it happens. This will be coming out on Monday. But uh, when I do a solo one, I'm going to try and do this. There's also a Patreon account if you want to join Patreon. For as little as $3 a month, you can help support the show and uh, get me better equipment and things like that. I want to talk a little bit about the podcast today because it's been a while that we've actually really talked about it and told you kind of the situation of what's going on with it. It's very interesting. I've had a lot of guests on lately, which I'm very thankful for the guests that have been taking the time to be on here. Um, <clears throat> MP3 Baseball has been on. Ty Hosejin has been on. Uh, Jennifer Broxerman. Those are like the most current episodes. And it's been great to interview people. I did a lot of solo shows in the beginning, but it's it's becoming one of those things where I'm going to run out of time here. We have this thing called perception versus reality. And my friend Jay talks to me about this all the time. And we talk about like how people see what is going on with social media, because that's the only place that they see you. They see what's going on with you. They see how things are moving and they see you get all these likes and views and follows and all that stuff. And the reality of that situation is, is they only see a little small part of what's going on behind the scenes. And it's tough. I um, interviewed Ty Hosejin this last week and I've been posting clips and um, he's a great guest, but I have been kind of just going through the motions and I'm having a hard time keeping up with a lot of things that I'm doing because I have a lot of stuff going on. I'm building a house that's almost done and I'm going to have to move. And then I'm thinking about where I'm going to be able to record episodes because my studio will not be completely done when the house is done. So I have to go in there and hang cabinets. I have to go in there and put flooring in. I have to treat the walls. Um, they already have sound treatment in them, but I need to put more sound treatment in them, decorate the place. I mean, there's all kinds of things that I have to do in order to be able to bring you this podcast. And so it's, it's work. And this is not my full-time job for those of you who think it is. It is not my full-time job. What it is, is it is something for me, an outlet for me to talk to people and get inspiration because I'm trying to inspire you, but you are also inspiring me. And I don't know that you really know that. Uh, people inspire me daily by doing the things that they do, by leaving comments, by posting, by, by telling me that what I'm doing is good, asking me questions about what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and how I got through it. And then they also give me tips and tricks on how to do that. It's inspiring for me to see that. I get a lot of inspiration from social media. I get a lot of inspiration from books, from shows, things that are other people that, uh, you know, have been through it and how they've worked on it. David Goggins is one of my favorite uh, authors. And I just recently came upon him. But like I find myself a lot of times saying, what would David Goggins do? You know, when you get to the point where things are shitty, things suck, you feel like you're not getting through it, um, you know. Here's the reality, okay? I've been doing this for, this would be year four, okay? I've been doing the podcast for four years. I've been on Instagram for about four years. I've been on TikTok for about four years. I've always been on Facebook. That was like the main OG social media, I feel like, well, besides MySpace, which I never took part of and didn't really get into the social media aspect of this whole situation until about four years ago when I started doing this. And people see, you know, they see me talking about it. I post clips on TikTok. I post clips on Instagram. I post tips on LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube. All those places are places where I am trying to build a following in order to be able to do this full time. Now, the reality of that situation is I begin with the end of mind and I know what it is. I know what I want, but it's not coming fast and it's not coming easy. So I got to continue to work hard and push through it. But what you see is the things that I show you you don't see all the stuff behind the scenes that I have to do to make that happen. And I've had some great help throughout the years. Um, you know, the first, the first year of the show, I, had, I was working with someone, a friend of mine who had a, you know, um, a platform to help push me out, to help me put out there. Because I started on an iPad in my garage sitting on one of those plastic tables. That's where it started. On an iPad, just talking. Then I got some lav mics and I tried that. Then I ended up getting a Blue Yeti. I tried that. I mean, there's all these different things that have got to this point, but no one saw all that stuff. You see me for who I am and where I am right now. So it's very interesting to see that perception versus reality to understand that, you know, it's not quite what it looks like. And I'm trying very hard to grow a following and trying very hard to 
reach more people. And I've talked this week a lot on TikTok, the last like almost week to post a bunch of these videos to get into this creator fund, this beta creator fund to get 100,000 views in order to do that. And I realized that I'm getting about 250 views on a video. So number one, I'm either not that interesting or number two, they're just not pushing my stuff out. No matter what, I found a way to do the work. So doing the work entails me doing about 400 videos to get that 100,000 view mark. Um, and to do 400 videos, it takes a lot. I got to put out, you know, 25 a day in order to make that happen so that I can get those 100,000 views that they're asking for. I already have the 10,000 followers. Uh, there was one other thing and I've already met that. The only thing that I wasn't at was, was the 100,000 views, which this morning I made it there. But now what do you have to do? In order to keep that going, you have to maintain that and keep it pushing over and over and over again until you can get that 100,000 views multiple times. So it takes a lot of work. And that is something that I've been working on. As far as the podcast goes, like I said, I've been doing it for four years. The perception is that millions of people watch it. I got tons of YouTube followers, blah, 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 blah. No, not really. Um, this year, recently, it's been four years that I've done it. I finally got monetized on YouTube. What does that mean? People always talk about getting monetized, right? Monetized on TikTok means that you get probably about three or four views or three or four cents a day. That's what that means. Three or four cents a day. It's something. It's better than nothing, right? And the same thing for YouTube. In order for you to get a, to make nine cents on a YouTube short, you have to have a thousand views on those, on those shorts. Okay. Not happening. So those things don't happen. So when you sit there and you're like, oh, this guy's killing it and this guy's making things happen. And this is not just for me. This is my friend Jay and I have been talking about this for quite a, quite a while because we both have two really good podca podcasts. Check out Hard Parking Podcast uh, with Jay Finning. And it's a non-automotive, uh, automotive podcast. He talks about cars and stuff like that, but he talks about culture and society too. And um, we're really good friends. He does all the audio editing for me. We have, I, and, but that's the other thing too, is like I have to have these people in my corner because there is no way that I can keep up with what I'm doing without having some people support me and help me. So Jay has been there for a long time for me. First of all, we were just bouncing ideas off of each other. And then he started editing my podcast for me. And now he's doing the clips for me. Um, I had Wolf K, who has been on the show multiple times, helping out, doing a lot of stuff for me as well. Um, he was making my clips for me. He was helping me with my website, which is currently in process of getting completed. But I've been trying to have a website for a long time. And I actually have two of them. Randy Singleton helped me with the Shaping Success Network podcast or uh, website. But trying to get the merchandise out there for people to buy it because we have stickers, shirts, sweatshirts, all that stuff trying to get uh, people to tune in, trying to get uh, views on on different platforms, you know, all coming from Gary Vee, who's, you know, just post, 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 and something's going to happen. So I'm hoping that something happens. But you also have to start to get narrowed down and narrow your focus down and start to push where the things are happening. So I spend a lot of time on TikTok because guess what? That's where the majority of the situations are happening and occurring. I've had about 3,000 Instagram followers for a while now. I don't even know if I have 3,000. Anyway, I've been stuck at the same number of Instagram followers for a while. Uh, luckily, you know, you get these people that you have on the show, like last, uh, not last, not last week, but the week before I had uh, Mark Paul on MP3 and he shares stuff. And so he's sharing stuff and I'm gaining following from him. And that's kind of what it is. When you share someone's stuff, it's a, it's a collaboration with you and them to hopefully gain a, a bigger following. And they're benefiting from being on the show. They're benefiting from telling their story from me, and I'm benefiting from having them. And that's what, that's what you try to do. Um, but then also, people want to see who you are. They want to know what type of person you are. They want to know. They want to, I like that guy. I like Wes because he tells it how it is. I like this. I like that. And they want to know that you're real, not fake. And nothing that I do is not the reality of my life. It is not fake. You know, I tell my story how it is. I am who I am. I really think this way. I really go through those processes. I really struggled being positive for a very long time. I was a glass, half empty guy all the time. And then when something good happened, I was excited because that was the way it was. And I started to just change that perception of myself and think about it in a different way. So now when you make that switch and you get around people who don't look at things that way, 
it really changes your outlook on the way that you look at things because it can draw you down pretty quickly. I talked about this in a video where you, you walk into a room and you're in a good mood and everything's going well. And then someone just starts talking about the negative things that are happening. You know, this could be at work. Like this happened at work lots of times. Like they talk about the negative things that are happening with the company and I'm in a good, in a good spot and a good headspace. And all of a sudden they start talking about negative things. And it's not that they're bad things, but they start talking about, oh, so-and-so did this, so-and-so did that, blah, blah, blah. Can you believe this? Can you believe that? And the next thing you know, you're like, oh, I can't believe that. You start getting into that mood. And the people that you are around and the people who bring you down are the people who can change that reality for you. And so I'm constantly trying to stay in that positive headspace. I walk into a house, I don't get the sale. Well, I'll get the next one. Or you could say, why can't I sell anything? Like you changing the words in your head and making a different reality of the situation because it, it is what it is. It's true. It's, it's not just because something negative happened didn't mean that there wasn't many other positive things that happened. And I think a lot of people don't understand that. So it's easy to dwell on the bad things because we have been conditioned to dwell on the bad things. And I just, what's been great about some of the people that I've had on recently is they're talking about the way that you communicate and the words that you tell yourself and the way that you frame them and how they can change the whole outcome. So with the podcast, okay, as for four years, these are some of the stats that I have, right? These are some of the stats that I have. Now, I call it a podcast because it is a podcast. It is audio, which most people don't understand that podcast is typically audio only. That's a podcast. Everyone thinks, well, Joe Rogan's only on video, blah, 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 blah. That's a podcast. Well, it's not. That's a, it's a show. I mean, that's, it's different than what a podcast is because a podcast is meant to be audio only. It's not a radio show. It's just audio of what you're doing. So this goes on to audio platform. On an audio platform, I've got 43,000 downloads, okay? 231 episodes published. And it's just, it's one of those things that this is what I've been doing for so long. Those are the things that I have. Now, that doesn't mean, you know, you think about, it, okay, so what does that mean? Let's look at the last episode. The last episode, because now I have episode downloads, right? Let's look at the last episode. Since we're talking about perception versus reality, okay? So episode downloads, the last 20 episodes. Ty Hose Jin, 23. Mark Paul, 70. Jennifer Brockstrom, 23. Uh, Solo 128, Gee Wiles 26, Derek Mayer 23, uh, another Solo 19, Mark England 29, Megan Henry 19. These are all great episodes, but those are the amount of people who have listened to or watched that, okay, over time. Now, if you look at like over um, all time, like the people who have, you know, some of these episodes have over 400 downloads, which is great. But in order to push that out more, you have to have you have to have more than that. It's in and it's funny because it's like in the top ten podcasts, um, but it's still not pushing that out. Okay, YouTube. So YouTube is video only, right? I have nineteen. I have nineteen hundred sixty one followers. So if you go over to YouTube and you are subscribers, is what I should call it because they're subscribers. You need to go subscribe to a YouTube. So you don't have to subscribe to mine. I don't care if you do or don't. But the reality is, is that the best thing that you can do for these people is subscribe and share. If it brought you value, if you're watching it, take that and share it. You know, there's a little button remix. If you're good at video editing, you can remix it and share it out again and direct it back to. There's all kinds of things you can do to help those people. But the biggest thing that you can do is follow them on all their social medias because I can guarantee you that each person does not have just one social media. Subscribe to the channel. Get that out there. That's how you help them. Social media is just an outlet for me to help other people get to the show, to help inspire them. Making the stickers, making the shirts, making the sweatshirts, hats, things like that, selling the merchandise is important as well. And that is, that is the thing that you have to understand. But for me to get done what I'm trying to do with my day job, that is a full-time day job with raising my two kids and all that stuff. It is a sacrifice for me to be doing this. And I sacrifice my time and I've restructured the way that I do things to make it happen. So think about that when you see people do that. But the main 
goal in this whole thing is to let you know that you motivate me, all right? You motivate me to keep doing this. There are multiple people who are in my life that continue to push and continue to help me keep driving forward, moving forward. And I always say so much put that on a shirt because guess what? I put that on a shirt. And that to me, the reason why is because I wear these clothes that I have. This is just a, I'm wearing just a regular Nike polo right now, only because I got to go to work after I get done with this. Um, but things on shirts change the way that I think about stuff. Um, like I look at it. All right. You get pissed off about something. Look down at my shirt. It says, move forward on it. Keep going. Don't stop. And that doesn't mean that you're always going to be moving forward. It means that you could stall. It means that you could take a step back, but you're going to try and keep going forward. So putting those on shirts and things like that, um, helps get that out. So anyway, I know that I, I know that I've taken a lot of your time to ramble about these types of things, but just remember the best thing that you can do is subscribe, share, follow, and help someone do that. If you, if you, want to support a little bit more, you can join the Patreon. I currently have one Patreon. I've been doing Patreon for, I don't know, four months. But what's cool about Patreon is if there's a guest on, always ask each guest, hey, can we have a conversation after? Can I record that? Can I post it on my Patreon? You're going to get some extra bonus coverage about the outside conversation because a lot of times with the interview, some of the good stuff happens before and after because we're kind of debriefing or, or briefing about what's going on and you get to you get to hear a little bit of insight on what's happening uh, with that. So something to think about. All right. If you want to join the Patreon for as little as $4 a month, that is helpful. It also helps me to make sure that you have the best sound possible. I do pay someone to edit my podcast and the more money that I bring in, the more I can start paying some of the people that do help me outside of that. My, one of my patrons, Nikki Pavlovich, thank you for being a Patreon. Uh, my one Patreon, uh, actually writes all the show notes for me because I just don't have time. And she's taken on a little bit more role with that to help me write descriptions and things like that for clips. Because I have noticed that I do not, I'm not doing the best that I can because I'm stressed about all the things that I have going on. And I've had a couple instances where the person who um, wanted to share it or wanted to collaborate with me, like on Instagram is like, Hey dude, I, I don't mind being a collaborator, but the wording's messed up. The spelling's messed up. There's something that I just don't like about it. Can you change it? And then I'll accept your collaboration idea and we'll get it going. That's on me. And I don't like making excuses. I hate excuses. And I, I, you know, this happened this week. And I looked at the guy and I said, you know what? I'm sorry. I need to do better. And that's all there is to it. There's, there's nothing about it. It's not like, well, I'm not going to make an excuse. There's no excuses. I'm up at 4.15 in the morning, but if I'm going to start posting things like that and I'm tired while I'm riding on the bike and just doing it willy-nilly so that I can get it out there, that's on me. And I need to be better about it. So trying to be better every single day. And that's pretty much it. That's what I got for you. Um, I don't know what's going to be happening. In the next two weeks, I'm going to be moving. I'm going to have to renegotiate the studio. I may put out some classic episodes. Let me know in the comments or, or DM me and let me know what episode you'd like to hear again because I can repost them um, and get them up so that you can hear some of the cool ones. We've had some really great ones um, over the last four years and there may be something that you want to know about. If you have any show ideas, hit me up. You can always email me west at westtankersley.com. Uh, if you join the Instagram channel, I'm running a contest right now. Um, you probably, if you're watching this on TikTok, you're not going to hear it, but you need to go join the Instagram channel so that you are able to get some of those drawings Right now, um, whoever votes in the poll gets a chance to win a Move Forward t-shirt. I'm going to be doing some giveaways like on TikTok with stickers and things like that and just try to get those out. And, uh, you know, that's it. But I want to challenge you every single day, every day, to find the shape of your success because it is different for every single person and that your success is not the same as what mine is. So go out there, define it, be the best you can every single day. 